Transurfer and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and today I'm going to be talking about something that I mentioned in a video a few weeks back. It's the idea of living there now, whatever it is that you want. I know this is like kind of basic stuff, basic transurfing stuff, basic law of attraction stuff, but if you can really tune your frequency to exactly what I'm saying here today, you'll see that the act of living there now just even a little bit more in your day-to-day -day life can create exponential results. This is a very, very powerful idea of living as though you already have that thing right now. I talk about this in my Mo Money course and my Becoming Magnetic course because this is the way that we get more money and this is the way that we get more love. For a lot of years, I told myself, why don't I have more money? Why can't I find the perfect mate? Why, don't, why do I always feel like something's not right and I'm not getting the love that I want and all that stuff? And really, it was me keeping it at bay because I was not inviting it in to my life by trying at least to live in that state ahead of time, right? This is the idea that you, that you figure out whatever way you can prematurely to live in that state in advance. And living in, in that state in advance opens the door for the thing to actually come inside. Before I get started, remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. And I am fasting, you guys. I'm like doing this intermittent fasting where I only eat for four or five hours a day. And then the rest of the time I fast. So if you hear my stomach growl, I was filming a video right before this and my stomach started growling super loud. So I'm just going to roll with it, but I'm going to give you guys a heads up. My stomach is really, really growling right now. So, um, yes, living there now, living that version of reality prematurely, right? Living that version of reality prematurely so you essentially become a, a magnet to all that stuff that you will need to materialize to help you um, form that layer of reality. This is slide, slide uh, 101, slides 101. So it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but the number one way that we don't do this, and this is really very, uh, it's, it's, it can be our programming, it can be just out of habit, it can be um, done via things that you don't even, you don't even realize you're doing, and that is telling yourself that something's too hard, something's intended for others, not for you, you're not in a position to receive something like that in your life. If you're doing any of that kind of self-talk or even actions in your life, right? Oh, I can't go do that thing because I'm not intended for it, I don't have the skills, whatever it is, you've just closed the door. The door is closed. And essentially what you've done is you've closed the door and you've hung a sign on the door that says alternative space, don't bring me this stuff. <laughs> don't bring me this stuff because I don't deserve it and you can take it elsewhere. And the alternative space will agree with you. Okay, you don't want it, I'll take it to somebody who wants it. So the somebody that wants it is doing this stuff. And my little diagram here, again, very, very straightforward in my opinion. This is you, right? And let's say that you want something. Most, most of the time what most people want is something that has to do with money or love, maybe a new career, a new romantic partner. Maybe it has to do with some more freedom 
or adventure, right? Maybe you you have been uh, you have been longing for some type of adventure or a new situation, and again, you say, "Well, you know, my life just is what it is right now, and I can't really make any big changes." That's you hanging the sign on that closed door, saying, "Alternative space, don't bring opportunities to me here." <laughs> So if you decide that you want to take that sign off, open the door up, play a slide that is going to help you to live in that state of being prematurely so you can attract exactly the things you need to materialize that version of reality for reals, for real though, right? <laughs> so when you do this, this is exactly what happens. You have this slide, okay? And this slide can consist of all sorts of things. And please, everyone, don't ask me questions about how long you need to play this. This is all your slide. I get tons and tons and tons of questions of what's the right way to play the slide? And how many hours a day should I play the slide? You know, that's for you to discover because every single person's different. And I know this sounds crazy to some, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, but I'm playing my slides all the time. It's just become a natural thing where I'm actually living in the state of being that I know that future version of myself obtaining the things that I want to have or I intend to have right in this moment, I live in that state of being right now, and I practiced it so much that now I'm just kind of there, right? I'm just kind of there, and I don't have to think about, oh, well, it's time to play the old slide. Oh, well, I gotta play the slide for 15 minutes. It's It should just feel like a natural, now at first you gotta get the spark going a little bit. It might be, feel a little contrived, but if you are really intended to have that thing, tapping in to that state of being, being able to feel the sensations of you having the thing now, or sorry, have to materialize it, starting to materialize the thing now, and you're on that path to get that thing, all of this stuff should feel natural. If you feel that it's so contrived that you have to set a clock on your watch or your phone, then you might not have cho chosen the thing that's intended for you, right? So here's your slide. Your slide is, um, it consists of the state of being. So watch the video state of being. It's a powerful one. And what Xavier Waterkane said to me on a podcast a, a number of months ago that resonated really deeply is that it's not so much about obtaining the thing that you intend to have is it's about you wanting to feel that state of being of having that thing. Okay, so let me break it down. If you wanna have a million dollars, what you're really craving, what you're really desiring, what you really want, is you want to feel what it feels like to have a million dollars. It's not to actually have the million dollars. You wanna feel rich, right? Same with love. If you're, if, you're, if you're really craving being in love with someone, again, it's not about having that relationship. It's that you want to feel all that stuff that comes with being in love and being in a relationship. So you can do that right now. You can, you can fabricate this, and this is really about you tricking reality and you tricking the mirror, and it absolutely does work. You can fabricate this state of being now. This is where self-love comes in. This is where you feeling rich, no matter what it is that you have. Focusing, watch my gratitude list video, right? This is a big one, because if you list all the things that you're grateful for, and you really just focus on those things, oh, I'm grateful that I have X amount of dollars in the bank and I'm grateful that I have this and I'm grateful that I have that and you really start resonating with how grateful you are for those things that's you living in a state of being of opening up being super grateful for whatever material stuff you have right now therefore attracting more of it into your life rather than you saying 
Why does everybody else have more money than me? Why does everybody else have a better partner than me? Why does everybody else, you know, and all those things, this is lack mentality. This is you closing the door and hanging the sign on it saying, alternative space, you're not welcome here. So the more you're grateful, the more you live in that state of being, you live with that sensation, you find ways to feel that thing prematurely. This is going to open the door for more of the same to come in. Sensation. This is again, you having the sensation that you're in love. You having the sensation that you have enough money. This is you getting into a place where you are living as if you already have the thing, sensing what it feels like now, rather than acknowledging it being missing and you hang that sign on your door, right? Experience. Figure out ways that you can um, you can you can experience or create experiences in your reality that are going to help you feel this state of being or these sensations. This could be you giving somebody that doesn't have as much money as you financial advice. This could be you eating chocolate if you want to get your endorphins going and feeling love, right? Whatever it is, no matter how small, they can be super small in the beginning if you don't know what to do. And then it will start to create the, the your external environment will start to create more experiences that will help you create more of what it is you intend to have exponentially. Self-talk, this is a big one. I am in love, right? I am rich. I am whatever it is you can grab onto that you currently have. And again, self-love and self-care is a huge one if you're looking for a new romantic partner because the more you do this self-talk of self-love and self-care, I am beautiful, I am love, I am this, I am that, you are going to admit that and people are going to pick up on it and you are going to become attractive, right? Attractive in what it is you intend to have. Your mere response, right? Your mere response to all this stuff and again, presents to you more of the same that is going to help you materialize that thing by giving you more opportunity exponentially for you to do more of this stuff, be in the state of being, have sensations of that stuff, create experiences, self-talk. It all just increases exponentially. And then before you know it, this slide is real and you have the thing you intended to have. And it is because you've done this and you actually are really experiencing that in a very, very real, visceral way that's materialized in your life. So when you do this stuff, okay, you, what, you, you, you create the energy where, this, where these feelings, sensations, state of being, self-talk, all this stuff, it leaves you. And what it does is it goes out into the world and then you match up with more material that matches that frequency. Again, this is opportunities. This is stuff that is going to help you see that slide to fruition. And it just kind of builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. But you have to project this stuff so that you can connect more with material that matches that frequency. Because if you're not at that frequency, then that's not going to happen. You're going to receive confirmation from your external environment that you're right about your state of being. Your sensations about having that thing are increasing the experiences are increasing you're 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 in more more to the self-talk because you're actually feeling it right as I like to tell people it's kind of like going to the gym you know when you first start going to the gym and it's really really hard because you're not seeing any results and then 
you get on the scale a few weeks later and you're like, oh my God, I dropped five pounds or oh my God, look at my, look at my muscles. So then after you see that result, it's easier for you to stay motivated to go to the gym. It's the same with this stuff. If you can start just a little bit of self-talk today saying, you know what? I'm going to have that thing. I'm going to take the sign off the door and I'm going to open up the door and I'm going to allow in what I've been keeping at bay. Then after a little bit of time, you will have more reason to have more positive self-talk about yourself. Um, I think this is pretty much it. I've gone over it. This is live there now or acting as if, right? This is acting as if. And this is you really just diving in to whatever state you perceive your future self as feeling and sensing and really just resonating with that has that stuff that you intend to have in your future frames. So let me know your thoughts on this one, everybody. Remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me and have a good one, y'all. Bye.